Hi YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I want to discuss um, being a targeted individual, but being targeted by your community and by your neighbors. Now let's begin. So when you start to do good for yourself, when you're on your own unique path, and you're just concentrating on yourself, and the people that are around you, they haven't progressed at all. They're just living um, living empty lives. They have no purpose, no drive, and they're just fixated on your life. They live through you. And if you ever have ever had a narcissistic neighbor, then you understand that they first start by love bombing you in the beginning of the relationship. They'll either give you a gift, gift giving and um, present themselves as, as a good person, as if you really need them in your life, that they're going to benefit you in some way in your life. But they really just want to use you and take advantage of you. It's the other way around. And um, they'll start by love bombing, using... Um, trying to manipulate you to fall for them in the beginning and then eventually their mask will just fall off and they'll start abusing you name calling you harassing you putting you down trying to just um feed off of your negative energy so that's when they start to devalue you then once they start devaluing you they kind of get addicted to that energy, to getting an emotional reaction out of you because they're, they're sadistic. They get pleasure from your pain and they get a sense of, of happiness momentarily when they put someone else down to make themselves feel better, to boost their ego, their fragile ego. So once you finally decide and you discard that narcissistic neighbor and you go no contact and you just, you're just done with the narcissist, the narcissist still wants to have that sense of control and power over you that they once had when you were under their control and they were able to abuse you. And so they're going to resort to stalking you, to keeping tabs on you, to listening and watching every single move and just living through you, like listening to your conversations, stalking you even through your, um, even when you're inside your house, you go to the restroom. They're going to go to the restroom at the same exact time as you. They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to get, trying to see if they can still access, have access to your energy. Because they're like parasites, energy vampires. They, they feed off and they live off of other people's energies. Especially when they're negative and they're very low vibrational beings. They need, they need your energy. That's why as a person with high energy, these low vibrational people, they try to latch onto you and they try to manipulate you and use these manipulative tactics to make you feel guilty, to play on your emotions, to play on your good nature because they want to deplete you from your resources, from your energy, from your happiness. Or also because you're starting to do good and you're in a happy space, the narcissist will try to um, mess with your energy by stalking you. To try to, to try to make it bother you, try to irritate you, try to intimidate you. And sometimes they want you to know that they're stalking you because they want you to focus your energy onto them. So a narcissist, a narcissistic neighbor will sit and watch every single thing that you do. They know your schedule. They know exactly when you leave your house, when you come back. They know... Um, they know the pattern of your schedule. They know who you talk to. They try to figure out every single thing about you because they're studying you as well. They're trying to study your weaknesses. They're trying to study your strengths, what you like, so they can try to mimic you and love bomb you by picking up on things that you like. So they can also pretend that they also like the same exact things that you like. So the narcissist is studying you. And trying to gather personal information to twist that, that personal information and to spread malicious and false lies about you. False accusations, slandering your name to other people around. And they communicate around the community with other people about your personal information to try to make you look bad. So they're constantly just trying to keep tabs on you. 
and waiting for you to do something bad or waiting for you to make a mistake so they can go out and just share it with the whole entire community. So they can um, make you out to, to be in this negative spotlight. So they also listen very attentively to what you say. You're having a conversation with someone and they even come out of their door and they just stand near your door to just try to listen to everything that you're saying. Or they can start banging the walls really late to try as well to, um, to bother you. It's all, they're only doing this because they're very, they're attention seekers and they need the energy from you. So they're, they're stalking you and it's really happening. You can feel that someone's stalking you just because you're very intuitive. You're very emotional, emotionally in tune to your emotions. You have the spirit of discernment. You know exactly what's going on behind closed doors and what's going on outside of closed doors, your neighbors. They make it really obvious that they're stalking you. You're going to pick it up because there's a certain pattern that they do. It's every single day they do the same exact pattern to stalk you. And eventually you're going to pick up on it and you're going to um, be aware that you're being stalked by your neighbors and they're targeting you. So when it gets really quiet and when you're doing something like, I don't know, like making a video as, as for example, right now, they're listening to every single word that you say. And um, the narcissist that I live with, uh, she tries to emulate me, mimic me, because there's a, they're chronically jealous and chronically envious. So they secretly also try to compete with your life because their life is really miserable and they're really unhappy people. So they're secretly in competition with you. They're trying to um, follow your footsteps, trying to take your ideas, trying to take away your wisdom and mimicking it. And technically, they don't have an identity of their own. So they're trying to take your identity away from you because they see that what you're doing is actually working and it's making you, it's, you're constantly progressing spiritually. And so it's not a bad thing. Some of them are not harmful, but a narcissist, you have to be very watchful for them because they're, they're studying your weaknesses. They're waiting for the right moment to come out at the same time that you come out to um, emotionally abuse you or to, to, um, to abuse one of your, your weaknesses. That's what they do. And another thing that I have to share about the narcissist is that the narcissist will will even come out just to laugh hysterically. Um, this is also a manipulative tactic to instill fear, to make you feel uncomfortable, to um, make you feel unsafe in your own environment, your own housing environment that you're in. This is all hum humiliation. It's harassment as well. They're harassing you. They're trying to get an emotional reaction out of you. And um, that, that was also a constant pattern. It wasn't just once, once, um, once, once an event, but it happened continuously where it was constantly her coming out of her way, coming out of her door when I came out and she started laughing but hysterically. So the narcissists, they know what they do. They try to get under your skin. They try to um, just get your attention because they need it. They're desperate because they need that sense of control over you. So what you need to do is you need to stonewall them. Whenever you come out and they come out, stonewall them. Don't interact with them. Don't talk about any of your personal informations to them. Don't even try to be friendly with them because they're not who you think they are. They're sweet words. Them trying to love bomb you, the narcissist trying to love bomb you all again. It's just manipulation because they're trying to hoover you. So this also goes, um, this also connects with what I'm talking about stalking. So the narcissist is stalking you because they're trying to hoover you back into the relationship. They once had you as their narcissistic supply. They need that supply again because that's exactly what what feeds their empty their emptiness. They're an empty vessel. They're just empty human beings. And the only way that they feel a sense of feeling alive is by hurting someone 
by um, love bombing them so they can gain validation and positive attention so they can inflate their ego. So, so it gives the narcissist a sense of satisfaction, a sense of like, um, a sense of an illusion of control. They don't really have control over you, but they, they see you as their property. They want to have that illusion of control over you. So it, in a senseless way, in a delusional way as well, they feel that they have control over you when they stalk you and when they keep up and they know every single detail that happens in your life. Um, so they're studying you when they're watching you. They're trying to see if they can find weaknesses so they can try to exploit those weaknesses. They're technically trying to destroy you when they're stalking you. This is not, this is predatory behavior. It's a person who has a personality disorder because this type of behavior is not normal. This is very abnormal behavior um, exhibited in a human being. So you automatically know that they're not in the right headspace. And you have to be careful because some of them are um, aggressive. They're very violent, violent and they, they like to instill fear in other people. So keep go no contact with these with these narcissists if you live with one as a neighbor. They also want to wait and see to see if you'll fail, to see if you'll make a mistake. Because they're behind the scenes. They're hoping that something bad will happen to you because they constantly see that you're winning and winning and they're just keeping an eye on you and waiting for your downfall. So this this also happens when you're a targeted individual. Being targeted, you get targeted everywhere. You get targeted in your community, in your residential, in your where you live. You get targeted from um car stalking and a bunch of others, but this one is another form of gang stalking because all the people that you live around, they're only targeting you. They're only watching you. And everything is only directed towards you. So stalkers are extremely narcissistic. They want what they want. And they don't even care if the victim doesn't want the same thing that they want. So even though you decided that you don't want anything to do with your neighbors. That you decided to cut them out of your life. They still feel a sense of entitlement to you. And they don't want to let you go. Because you have something that they want to take away from you. That they don't have themselves. They probably lack something in their personal life. And they're just trying to um, attach themselves to you. Also, when you're climbing the ladders and you're starting to, to, um, to become more successful than them. These people are just hoping that you won't make it. So they're keeping tabs on you. Remember that stalking is not a normal behavior. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my experience with the stalker, because that's exactly what she is. So a stalker will um, will come out of their door when you're just having a conversation, will just stand there quietly and just listen or come out several times to do something and just try to see if they can gain any any information to, to what to your life. And um, they even stalk you in your own in your own home. You go you, you go to the restroom, they end up going to the restroom at the same exact time as you do. You end up um, turning on the sink, they end up turning on the sink as well. So they're the narcissist is mimicking you, it's Trying to make you feel uncomfortable. And this also, this also demonstrate a lack of respect for boundaries. Narcissists do not respect anybody's boundaries. They don't care about the law. They don't care about morals. They don't care about respecting another individual. They see you as an extension of themselves. They don't see you as your own separate person. When they see you, they see you and them. 
like that you're an extension of who they are so they don't want to let you go that's how sick a narcissist is and um they also use all their energy to talk about everyone else but since they're targeting you you're the main topic that they're always talking about they're obsessive over you every single thing that that goes on in your life they're just constantly obsessing over it and they cannot stop thinking about you but this is not in a good way this is in a very sick toxic manipulative manner So they will keep up with every single detail in your life due to their stalking and them spying on you. They will stalk you. They will sacrifice their own time, their own life, just because they have suffered a great narcissistic injury. So you rejecting the narcissist and you saying, you know what? I deserve to be treated better and I'm not going to tolerate your abuse. To them, that is an insult to their ego, to their sense of self. So a narcissist is pretends to be this very um, superior, strong person that's better than everyone else and everybody else is below them. Um, when you reject the narcissist and they're not done with you because they have a mission to destroy your life, that you cause a great narcissistic injury, a huge hit to their fragile ego. And so they need to try to one up you. And so now what they're going to do is they're going to try to see if they can find any tiny dirt about you and twist it around, twist that information around into malicious gossiping and then slander your whole reputation. So whenever you have personal information, I would suggest to, um, to not share your personal information near that narcissistic individual. Because they just, they always want to know about everybody's life. But they leave a, they, they live a very secret life. You don't know anything about the narcissist because the reality is they're an empty vessel, an empty shell. But they live through other people's business. And anything bad that happens to someone else, they go around and just, just share that negative energy. So they're trying to slander your reputation and they're also waiting to see when is the right time to abuse you narcissists cannot leave you alone they have an obsessive nature they get fixated on their narcissistic supply they also want to see if you're struggling if you're miserable and you're dissatisfied with your life without them Because whenever you're at your lowest, that's when the narcissist wants to come near you to see if they can try to hoover you back in. So what you need to do is you need to focus on yourself. You need to continue to um, work on yourself. Do all the inner healing. Get rid of that narcissist. Go no contact. Don't ever go back near that narcissistic person. Because what they want is they want to continue to abuse you. They're not done abusing you. So they're trying again to, to love bomb you, to sweet talk you, to try to see if, if they can try to manipulate you and deceive you into falling for them again. But understand that when you see this type of behavior and you see this person for who they really are, don't return to that. You deserve so much better. You're going to find so much, so much more higher quality people than a narcissist. And so they will try to approach you with their superficial charm and their charisma, but don't fall for it. It's all a part of their game. So other reasons why they do this is because a stalker attempts to take control over you and they want to terrorize you emotionally and physically. They keep tabs over you. Some go as far as even to as even to like trespassing your own property, um, they don't respect anyone's privacy. They feed off of your emotion. 
So they love to see when you're struggling and having a hard time. They stalk you to find ways to hurt you because they're studying you. So if you discard them and you have went no contact, these individuals will try relentlessly to hoover you back in. It's very disturbing. Their behavior is very disturbing. And they want to try to intimidate you, to stalk you. Sometimes even the stalker wants you to be aware that they're stalking you. So you can know that they still exist. Because they don't want you to forget about them. So they want to constantly remind you that, hey, I'm still here, you know. Come pay attention to me. But ignore that narcissist. It's a devil. And um, they're very controlling, very manipulative. They just want to see if they can manipulate you or try to... They want something. They have a hidden motive as to why they're stalking you. Always remember that. There's always a hidden motive behind their behavior. So narcissists, sociopaths are chronically jealous. They have extreme envy issues. They're very pathetic. They need... They always need to keep their noses in someone else's business. They're mentally ill. They live a very sad, miserable, empty life. They're just trying to ruin also your peace of mind. They're trying to ruin your happiness. They tr they're just trying to ruin what you have going on. They're distractions in your life. So they're just distracting you and trying to get you off of your path by um, by acting this way. To make you focus on them. They're very petty. They're very arrogant. So they're constantly walk watching you just to harass you. They're competing with you secretly. And they watch your every single move. They know what time. They know your schedule. They know when you come and leave your house. You have something that they want or that they lack. So always pay attention to the repeated pattern that they exhibit in their behavior. They also are going to, you're also going to have, you're going to also be aware soon that there's, they've been slandering your name. They've been gathering, listening to all your conversations, trying to gain access to your personal information to share it with others in the, excuse me, in the community. They're trying to slander your reputation, spread rumors and lies about you. So this type of behavior, it makes the person being targeted feel very unsafe, very unwelcomed. They feel like their privacy is being invaded. They have no sense of, of feeling comfortable in their own place because the narcissist is constantly being invasive and making them feel vulnerable, bothered, and very uncomfortable. So another sign that they're also trying to um, stalk you is when... They start making loud noises really late at night and they just they just want to harass you. It's all it all comes down to harassing you, it all comes down to getting an emotional reaction out of you, and it all comes down to destroying your life. So what I would recommend in these situations is to ignore them, go no contact, don't pay any attention to them. Um, just ignore them so much and if and if they don't change and they continue to do what they're doing please find a find a way to move out of that environment because some of them are just so obsessed with their narcissistic supply that they're going to continuously behave that way because they they're trying to just feed off of your energy and and just don't let it get to you don't let it get to you they're trying to get to you and that's one way that they're doing it covertly they're covertly abusing you so trust your intuition trust the energy the bad energy that you feel around them trust the fact that your um 
your gut is telling you that something's off, that they're really stalking you. Even even when it's there's a wall between both of you, you still know for a fact that they're stalking you because they tell on themselves eventually. The stalker will literally expose themselves sooner or later. So this is a video for confirmation if anyone is going through targeting in the apartment that they live. Um, you're not crazy. There, This really happens. They're just people who are very um, immoral. They don't have respect for other people. And they're, they feel entitled to you. And they're also obsessed over you. They think that both of you have a relationship. And that somehow you still feel something for them and they still feel something for you. So be very careful around obsessive people. They, they can, these individuals can be very dangerous, especially when they're jealous. Jealous drives them out to do just the unthinkable. And another thing about stalkers is that they'll start copying you. So I've had this happen. Um, I start talking about a certain topic and next thing you know, the person that's stalking me starts speaking about the same exact thing that I was just talking about. Or they start um, taking on your identity. So you listen to a certain music, next thing you know, they're also doing the same thing. And there's degrees to this. Highly jealous people, there's degrees. If they're really, really jealous of you, keep your distance, get away from them. They're going to want to destroy your life because they're highly competitive. They're gonna to try to one up you all the time. And just focus on you, focus on your, your path, your journey, focus on God. Don't focus on these demons. Um, the only person you have control over is yourself. You control the way, the way that, they, that you deal with them. You don't even have to deal with them. Don't deal with them, as a matter of fact. Um, when you can't control their behavior, just control yourself. You have the power over what you respond to and what you give your attention to and your energy into. And if it's not, it's not anything positive and it's just a negative situation in a negative environment, don't, don't allow it to get into your mind. Focus on something that is going to give you happiness, peace. And I know how uncomfortable this situation feels because... I've experienced it and I'm experience it, experiencing it right now. So um, don't worry too much about it. Just ignore them. Don't give them your time, your attention. They just, they're just after your attention. And the sooner you realize, you realize that, that the enemy just wants to distract you you'll soon realize that it's not worth it. That it's a complete waste of time. And let them do what they do, their immature behavior. Um, but you continue to live your life the way you want to. And continue to do Continue to, to be happy in your own place. Don't allow them to to try to um try to make you feel miserable. You're the one you you're the one with the power. They don't have the power to make you any type of way unless you consent to it and you allow it. So wear that energy protection that I've talked about in my other video. And continue to walk in your light. Thank you so much for watching this video. Continue to be yourselves. Continue to stay true to who you are. And continue to share that beautiful light with the world. Bye.